all the business coaches are talking about AI and how this is going to take over all your content creation and even write your courses for you. So we all know that business coaches talk a lot of what the do I think about this? Let's find out. Damn. I knew it. I knew it, Phyllis. Okay. I'm Amy Walker, client acquisition specialist. My job is to help you find the most consistent, predictable ways to find your ideal clients. And AI is getting crazy, you guys. Crazy stuff is going down. So in this video, I want to dig into what I think you can and should do with AI because you absolutely should be using it. And what are the parameters where you don't want to cross the line into sounding like literally everybody else out there and not being unique. We don't want to lose that special sauce that makes us us and attracts our clients to us. But AI is coming and there are a lot of good things that you can do with it. So in this video, I am going to show you an AI script that was written completely from a prompt. I'm going to share with you what I don't like about it. And then the third and final thing that we'll do is talk about what you can and should be doing to use AI in order to make your content really pop and stand out. So the first thing is we need to let you experience AI. So this script was written entirely off of AI and I'm just going to perform it as though it came to me and it's being delivered to you without you knowing that it is AI, but you do know that it's AI. And welcome to this video on the best AI tools for small business. In today's fast paced world, small businesses need all the help they can get to stay ahead of the competition. AI powered tools have become essential for small business of all sizes, but many small businesses are unaware of the benefits these tools can provide. In this video, we'll introduce you to some of the best AI tools that can help your small business grow and thrive. It even tells you the editing things to do. Great. First up is the dashboard. A dashboard is a tool that can consolidate data from various sources and present it in an easy to read format. There are many AI powered dashboards available that can help small business owners make better decisions. One such tool is Databox. Databox provides real-time analytics and data visualization, allowing small business owners to monitor important metrics such as website traffic, social media engagement, and sales performance. And then it says, cut to a shot of a virtual assistant on a smartphone. Awesome. Next, let's talk about virtual assistants. Virtual assistants are becoming increasingly popular in both personal and professional settings. They can help with tasks such as scheduling appointments, sending reminders, and even answering customer queries. One of the best virtual assistants for small business is Mycroft. Mycroft is an open source AI powered virtual assistant that can be customized to fit your specific business needs. It can help you manage your day-to-day -day tasks more efficiently and save you time and money. And then it wants you to cut to a shot of a chat bot on a website. Another AI tool that can help small businesses is the chat bot. Chat bots are becoming an increasingly popular way for businesses to interact with their customers. They can answer frequently asked questions and provide product recommendations and even take business orders. One of the best chat bots for small business is TARS. TARS is a no-code chatbot builder that allows small businesses to create custom chatbots without any technical expertise. Okay, I don't want to go through any more of this because I think that's enough for you to get the, the picture of what is going on. So what do we love about this? First of all, I literally typed in what are the best AI tools for small business? And it wrote me out an entire script. Now, if I was new to content creation and I didn't already have an established voice or established ideas or opinions, could I record that video and would that video be valuable? Yes. Am I concerned that down the road, somebody else is gonna ask the exact same question and get a really similar script written and then I have the same content as somebody else and somebody else and somebody else? Am I concerned about that? Yes, <laughs> I really am. Now for me, if I were to go and create that video, I feel like my people would be like, Amy sounds different. That doesn't seem like you, like your, your personality is not there. And in reality, I don't like to talk about things and train about things that I don't actually know about. So this is not a video that I would make. 
this, you know, the script that came through, but it was really impressive. So if I was to use this script, the way that I would do it is I would take it and then I would edit it and tweak it to insert in more of my voice and also to create some context around it. Like, hey, I've been hearing a lot about AI and different tools. And so I wanted to do some research and find out what are some of the most up and coming and most highly ranked and promoted AI tools that you could use for your business. I could create that video and I could use these, but I would still go and do the research on each one of them so that I could show a little bit about what I'm experiencing as a new user that's just checking some of these services out. So here's how I am using AI and loving it. It is saving me so much time. I went on a deep dive this week and I was like, mind blown, it was amazing. So I am using a uh, chat GPT and you can get there through openai.com. When you set up your account, don't say that you're a business owner because some of my clients have been getting their accounts denied when they say they're a business owner. But if you say that you're an influencer, um, then it will let you in. Now, things that I am doing, um, I'm writing newsletters there. So what I do, like for my author business, I wrote all of my newsletters through ChatGPT. Instead of it taking me an hour to write a month's worth of newsletters, it took me 10 minutes. What I did is I wrote each week, what are the writing updates and the book updates and the progress. And I just wrote like a short little paragraph. And then it took the paragraph and it wrote it into a conversation. Um, I actually, those ones came back almost 95% the way that I would have written them. I had very little that I had to change. Another thing that I did was I wrote, um, write out 50 TikTok scripts on sales tips and it wrote them out. Now, every single one that came back, I would not say it the way that they said it because again, I don't want my content to sound the same as somebody else's content to sound the same as somebody else's. But every single one gave me a prompt that then jogged my thought process to just get on and record 30, uh, or I recorded 50, 30 second, 15 to 30 second TikTok scripts. And I did that in a matter of minutes. It saved me so much time not having to think about what to talk about, but having those prompts there. The other thing that I've done is I've gone in with myself and some of my clients and said, give me prompts for TikTok videos. And those come back very different than the ones where you say, write the TikTok scripts on sales tips. They'll tell you things like make a video of yourself doing this or make a video of you doing this project. And it creates ideas for really captivating content that you can produce. Now let's get to YouTube scripts. Am I going to use AI with my YouTube scripts? Yes, 100% yes. It has saved me so much time, but I'm not gonna do it like I just showed you. So what I just showed you, the prompt was um, make a, I think I wrote, make a 12 minute video script for a YouTube channel on, and then I gave the topic. What I'm doing instead is I'm saying, write a 12 minute YouTube script for Amy Walker Consulting's YouTube channel on this topic, and here are the bullet points. So I'm actually going through and putting my outline into Otter AI. Then what happens is it brings me back a pretty full script, um, and from there, I, I do some tweaks and I do some edits. So it used to take me, about 20 minutes to create each YouTube script and I batch content. So, you know, that was a day to a day and a half of writing scripts before we would film. Now it's taking me about five minutes to write in my outline. It takes Otter AI two minutes to bring it back and it takes me like another five minutes to edit. So I'm down from 20 minutes to 10. And that just feels like, I'm not gonna lie, it feels really good. <laughs> Go into chat GPT. I promise you it's going to rock your world and um, give you so many tools and resources to be able to help you create your content more quickly. So I've told you the good. I got to also tell you the bad, which is I have started receiving um, AI reach outs and some of them are pretty terrible. So for example, I, I don't know where it's coming from, but I just know I started getting it this week and I'm like, okay, that is literally done by AI, but not good AI. 
So there is something out there where they're taking uh, LinkedIn profiles and then they're pulling the information from the LinkedIn profile and then they're writing strategic emails to reach out because my email is listed on my LinkedIn. And so I got one this week that said, I see you're super passionate about humanitarian work and disaster cleanup and um, that you're an expert in something else. So here's the thing. Both of those things are on my LinkedIn profile. Neither one of those things are the things you should be reaching out to me for. Am I passionate about disaster cleanup? Yeah, like we live in the South. Um, my family and I go, pretty, it seems like pretty much every year in South Carolina or Florida or somewhere, there's some kind of hurricane or tornado and we do go volunteer and we clean up. Do I think it's a great cause? Yes. Is it like something that I'm known for or that, I mean, it's randomly on there, but it's deep in the list, right? It's not top of the list. If you are digging these tips, I would love for you to like the video and leave me a comment and make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you can get notified every time we release new content. Um, and then I can't remember what they said I was an expert in, but I was like, that's a big stretch. That's a big stretch. So um, I, I do want you to use with caution and figure out where it really works for you. Um, I gave, uh, I, I've been, just been playing with things this week. And so I played with emails. I think the next thing I'm gonna play with is copywriting and conversion sequences. Um, I played with naming a business and that went pretty well. Um, I've played with like writing. Um, this is another thing we're gonna do next is try to have Otter AI write the show notes for our, um, for our, uh, podcasts. I think it will do well with that, but I also am really fine with hitting the limit and figuring out, okay, you're not actually good with that. So I wouldn't trust Otter AI to write my YouTube scripts from start to finish. Um, I wouldn't trust Otter AI to write a book for me or even a chapter for me. So AI has a lot of potential. I think it's also got some limits and I'm testing it out. And I would recommend that you test it out too and find out where and how it works well for you while still maintaining your voice. I think that's super important. Um, we work hard to position ourselves as unique in the market. And for us to then give that all away to a machine where we sound robotic and we sound like everybody else, even though it's good, that's the thing. It's good, but it's not Amy. And I, I think that's something that you should investigate as well. So um, I've played with a lot of things. I've played with writing newsletter blurbs. I've played with social media prompts. I've played with YouTube scripts. I even played with uh, naming businesses. Um, the next things that I'm going to look at are landing pages. I'm also going to look at writing an email conversion sequence. I probably wouldn't use Otter AI to write a book. Um, I probably would use it to write a blog post. So you've got to figure out what your boundaries are, but above all else, use it as a tool, but make sure that everything goes out really, truly sounds like you. This is more, how do you get your ideas out to the world faster? Not how do you steal someone else's ideas when you didn't have any in the first place? I hope that is a clear distinction because one, I think will help your business soar. The other in the long run, I think will do more harm than good. If you would like more tips on how to find your ideal client consistently and get more leads, get more sales, I'd love for you to join me at my two day acquire event. It is live online and we go deep into your organic lead generation and your sales strategies and systems. If you go into the description below, you'll be able to grab that link and I'd love for you to apply for some free tickets. All right, so now you know what is possible with AI and uh, ChatGPT. The next video that I want you to go watch is how to scale your sales. I can't wait to see you over there.